Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel today. I am so pumped to be bringing you my Sephora haul for 2022 VIB spring savings event. I totally spaced out and forgot that the spring savings event was even coming. Normally like like a month in advance I'm like preparing mentally for it but this time I kind of forgot about it so I was really really happily surprised to see um, when people started posting and oh my god I was just I went all out we have like skincare we have makeup we have hair care we have body care there's just some something like of everything um, so I'm really excited to show you guys all of these products it's a massive oh my god it's a massive box if I order anything else which I think I already placed a second order but if I order anything else I'm gonna just feature them in a, like a little shorts video so check those out um, if you guys are enjoying the content, please don't forget to like this video, to subscribe to the channel, and join the family. I really, really appreciate it. To everybody that's new, thank you so much for subscribing. Really happy to have you guys on this journey with me. Um, and yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and talk about all of this makeup. So, I always, I always enjoy the excessive <laughs> amount of paper that they put. So excited! <laughs> so excited! Um, and I'm actually wearing some of these products today too, so I feel like it's. And I've tried some of them too, so I feel like it's also going to be like good, like mini reviews with showing you the products all together, sort of thing. First off, let's talk about a skincare product, and this is one that I have totally been using because I really, really needed this in my routine. Um, and this is from Skin Fix. It's their resurface A H A B H A. Enzyme exfoliating pads, retexturizing, peel to smooth, brighten, and tackle dark spots on face and body. And what I really liked about this was that it has salicylic acid specifically, so it targets pores, roughness, uneven skin tone, fine lines, dark spots, all of that. Um, and then the cool thing was, okay, perfect, it has one on the back. So the AHA on it is that glycolic acid blend, which that glycolic acid is actually like a stronger acid. Um, it also has lactic acid, which is a more mild acid that also helps with hydration. It has salicylic acid for the BHA, which helps with like acne and actual like just, you know, gunking of the pores sort of thing. So that'll actually go inside the pore. And so that will really, really help if you also have acne. It has niacinamide, which helps with oil balance and just brightening of the skin. Fruit enzyme blend, which is just another way to kind of exfoliate. I actually looked at so many different options for an exfoliating either serum or pads or whatever it is. I just wanted something that was going to be really exfoliating and go inside the pore and help with like blackheads and stuff like that and like nose pores specifically. And this was this was it uh, on my all my research that I did led me to this product. <laughs> compared to everything else that I could have gotten from Sephora and I have been very happy with it. I've seen some great results. I feel like my pores look so much better and my skin texture is so, so much better. It's so, like more soft, less rough. Oh, just honestly cannot say enough good things about this. I've really been seeing a difference and I highly, highly recommend um, if you guys are looking for a new like exfoliating product. For a makeup product, let's talk about the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder and this is just their setting blurring powder if you guys saw my big like powder showdown comparing different powders setting powders um this was one that i had in that and i really really love this i just found it to be so blurring on the pores and it looked so flawless it just almost made your skin look kind of like filtered in a way but like obviously in real life so i was really excited to go and get the full size of this finally and i have the color just translucent um I just, I loved the small size that I had, absolutely used it up and really wanted a bigger full size of this. And you do get a decent amount of product in here. I do like the packaging. Yeah, so I like the fact that it's a double component so it kind of protects the powder so it doesn't go everywhere. And in general, I find that like, it's just aesthetically, like they did a nice job with it. So excited to actually be using this full time again because I ran out a little while ago and I've just been using a drugstore one. And honestly, I see a massive difference, um, especially in the way like my pores look and my T-zone kind of looks because it just looks a little more rough. And I feel like this powder really just does such a good job at like 
smoothing everything out. And what do I have next? I have two lip liners. These ones are both from Huda Beauty and I went really hard with the lip liners this time because I needed some new go-to lip liners that were just gonna be that tone, like that nice, like a beigey, brownie, almondy, war like slightly warm tone. I've been looking for that kind of thing lately, um, just because I found that I was really lacking anything like that in my collection, and I found one from Huda that I love. The second one, I'm like, eh, but one of these I actually totally fell in love with, um, and I actually really fell in love with her formula too. So the two colors I got was honey beige and sandy beige. So. Honey Beige is the one that's definitely a little more up my lane because it's a lot more of that like honey, like slightly has a warmth to it. So let me start off with Honey Beige. And the pen's pencil itself, like they're very comfortable, they're very sleek, um, and they're also like a twist up. So I, I loved that. Oh, that was amazing and they're so easy to glide on the lips oh my god I was so impressed by her formula honestly speaking I kind of I don't know why I didn't expect it to be as good as it is but I, I really really enjoyed these so honey beige is right here um, and you'll see it in the swatch as well that I post sandy beige and this one the only difference like I said is I feel like this one is a little bit more has a more of a yellow undertone to it um, and I find that for me, I like a little bit of just a little touch of warmth in there or else I feel like it just kind of washes me out a little bit. So this one over here, the second swatch, this one is the one that I was mentioning um, from Kosas. I ended up getting their Airbrow Tinted Volumizing Treatment Gel and I got the color Medium Brown. Um, honestly, I've just kind of been trying to get more into a little bit of a, like, a more natural brow, especially because I've been doing more natural, like, face makeup looks. And this one was one I saw a lot of people loving. Like, the reviews were insane. I have tried this once already, and I really did like it. I like the applicator a lot because it's super tiny. Um, and not just that, but, like, it looked really good in the brows. It looked very natural and kind of fluffed them up. The hold isn't too great, so I feel like if you want more hold, you could kind of add a little bit of your own, like, something else um, that has a little more hold to it, like a gel. But, like, when it comes to just fluffing the brows and giving them, like, volume and making them look more full, I did really enjoy that. For a hair care product, uh, this is a total repurchase. This is the Living Proof Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. Again, advanced clean, not the original, because this one is bomb. The original wouldn't have done it for me. But basically, this one actually, it's a dry shampoo that actually cleans your hair. Whatever technology they're using, what it does is it truly cleans your hair so that you have to use less dry shampoo and your hair stays clean and fresh longer. Oh my god. Game changer. Game changer. If you have not tried this, it is incredible. I purchased um, my last bottle during the last VIB sale and I still have it and it's just almost about to run out. So it lasts forever, even though it's a little bit more expensive for a dry shampoo, it's 100% worth the money and highly, highly recommend. Love that so much. Um, for a body care product, I have the Caudalie Vino Therapist Replenishing Vegan Body Butter. So my skin has been super, super dry lately. I don't know what's going on, but it is so freaking dry. I even ended up getting um, some dry patches on my legs, which I've never had before in my life. I never get dry patches. My skin is normal on my body. But because I've been so damn dry, I really wanted to get a body butter that was going to like just fix all of that and this ended up being my savior i have been using this ever since i got it and it has been incredible you guys but it is just gorgeous it's so yummy and it's just so moisturizing honestly i i love this so so much highly recommend if you're having a lot of issues with like dryness especially because this is incredible and it just feels so moisturizing without like feeling too too greasy that was the one thing i didn't want i didn't want to feel super oily and this didn't really do that it just kind of it still feels a heavier because it's a body butter but it's not like oily oily so i enjoy it a lot more because of that another hair care product this is dp hue acv apple cider vinegar hair rinse light um and this is for fine hair it basically is a a cleansing product um, that also helps with color. Um, it helps to seal the cuticle to add shine. It helps with pH yeah. balance. Keep your color looking as at its best. Apple cider vinegar cleanses hair and scalp without stripping natural oils. Infused with argan oil, aloe, 
Farah and Lavender Extract for softness and shine for all hair Natural colors. Colors. Fine hair formula. Honestly, this was something that I just really needed in my routine. I wanted something that was gonna help like cleanse my scalp, remove the buildup from like dry shampoos and like anything else I'm using. But I didn't want it to like strip my color and I didn't want it to be too harsh um, and leave me like with my hair super dry and brassy. I got a different one and that totally did that. So I was like, I want to try something new. And this I saw had incredible reviews. So I'm just so excited to get to kind of try this out more. I've used this one so far. Application was super easy. Um, so I'm really happy about that. But I can't really speak to the results just yet. I'll let you guys know as soon as I kind of have more thoughts on it. For a makeup product, this is the Patrick Ta Four Face. It's their new blush in the color She's Baked. And this is actually what I have on my cheeks today, if you guys were curious. I do have a highlight on, that's what's giving you the shine. But it is the color I have on, and I'm not gonna lie, this is freaking beautiful. I was actually kind of blown away by the color itself. It's such a pretty color. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like nothing I've ever seen before, to be completely honest with you. It's one of those shades that is definitely like... A must have in your collection because it's different than everything else like and I have a lot of blushes but this this just spoke to me so there is the color right there and it's just so interesting it's like a burnt pinky reddish color like I literally don't know how to describe this but it's so freaking pretty you guys oh my god and like on the skin too it just has such a beautiful like yumminess to it um and it like it's not matte even though like the powder side of it it's not matte but it does like it does have like this buttery look to it and it has a very skin like effect so you first apply the powder and then you apply the cream portion just on top and it kind of like locks it in it's supposed to give you a lot of lot like like a longevity to your blush I just am obsessed with the color itself. I can't get over how like different it is, but beautiful. I feel like this is one of those colors that in the summertime, oh my god, this would be so beautiful. Like with a tan, oh, so, so gorgeous. So I'm very excited that I actually get to add this to my collection. The other shades he had honestly didn't really inspire me too much, but this one, this one was different. Like, again, she's baked. This is different. Very innovative. I really like that. Um, for a, uh, what do I have? Hair care? Yes, let's talk about more hair care. I have the Pyrology Color Fantastic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. And this is for color-treated hair, 100% vegan ingredients, has 21 different benefits to it, uh, protects color vibrancy, leaving conditioner, detangles, blow dry easier, moisturizes parched hair, helps smooth hair fibers, weightlessly conditions, priming for hair styling. What I basically wanted this for is basically to kind of help detangle a little bit Give me some heat protection and also just be like a leave-in conditioner. Um, this one's supposed to be more weightless, so as we're going into the summertime, I wanted something a little bit more lightweight, and I figured this might be a good choice. I tried this in the past, like back back in the day, and I can't remember what I thought truly of it, so I was like, let's try it again. Um, it smells really good though, so I do, I do really like that. It smells like really, really good. Um, for uh, a two, oh, I have two little fragrances. Okay, let's talk about the first one. This is the Skylar Capri Summer um, Roller Ball because honestly, I'm not committing to a full fragrance anymore. It takes me too long to go through it, and by the time I get to like even halfway, I feel like my preferences in a sense change a little bit, and then I kind of like forget about it. <laughs> um, but this is Bergamot, Neroli, and Blood Orange, um, sparkling citrus sweet. That's what the kind of description is warm sun epic coastline and lots of sweet zesty citrus fruits yeah honestly that's how i would describe it it's very zesty it's very sweet um but like in a in a very fresh like way i would say oh my god it smells so freaking good you guys the like the mixture in here the citrus mixed with a little bit of that sweetness mixed with like the freshness of it is just so yummy yeah, this is like, this is going to be one of my go-to fragrances. It literally smells delicious. So have a sniff if you guys kind of like that combination. I'm really into like zesty, fresh fragrances um, more than anything else right now. I feel like that's just die jive with where I'm at really well. Um, for another hair product, this is another repurchase. It's the Olaplex number no. 4 Blonde Enhancer 
uh, shampoo and it repairs hydrates brightens all blonde highlighted and gray hair types this has been incredible it's a second bottle at this point because I really really honestly love it I see such a difference in the color of my hair the brassiness of my hair I have color treated hair um, and I haven't been to the salon in a very long time it's been almost a year now so I'm trying to kind of do anything I can at home to keep it going until I get a chance to go in and this has been a product that's really blown my mind and it's been very incredible and this is it's you only need the shampoo you use whatever conditioner you want to use so I kind of love that because it saves you a lot of money and honestly the first bottle I got is still not done so it lasts you forever and considering the price that's amazing for a two more lip products um, this is actually sorry one is not a lip product I have two lip products by the same brand but they're here <laughs> this is the Patrick Ta lamination gel and it's their major brow um, clear so I was uh, I've already tried this and I actually did a whole like brow gel showdown review <laughs> reviewing different brow gels so check that out if you guys are interested um, and like learning more about why I like this so much but it just is amazing hold I really honestly kind of fell in love with the look of this how easy it is to use so even though I'm trying out a different brow product for a more natural brow this is like my go-to for like a very perfected brow look um, and it's just the packaging is freaking gorgeous all the Patrick top packaging I have to say is so on point oh just so beautiful but that's a repurchase um, for two more Patrick top products these are both lip liners and one of these I actually have on right now um, so the first one is she's strong which is the one I have on my lips at the moment the lights are very intense right now so I feel like you can't see this and it's true like what it really looks like it's very Honestly, it's kind of a dark, like, almond color. It's a little too dark for me, I feel. I think on my end, I prefer I would prefer something slightly lighter, like the Huda Beauty one I mentioned, um, the Honey Beige. It's it's a little bit lighter and more wearable. This one's a lot more of, like, a darker almondy color. And the other one I have is She's Proud. Uh, She's Proud I actually didn't end up liking at all because it was just... Honestly, it's just not my cup of tea. It's a very nudie color, but, like, nudie in the sense that it kind of washes me out. So here is... Um, she's strong and you can see it's definitely a darker color um, but very very pretty and I think if you have a little bit of a darker complexion you would really love that they are quite nice um, didn't mind necessarily the application I feel like you need to get used to the the way it applies a little bit because it's like a slanted tip but otherwise it's pretty creamy um, but the one thing that did piss me off and this just happened again here is it breaks I don't know what's going on but like the actual products like literally kind of can break off and for the price you're paying for these you're not getting a lot of product anyways so that was a little bit annoying I just want to mention that to you guys um, but right here is the other one which is called she's proud and she's proud like I said it ended up being just it kind of washed me out a little bit it's same thing with that sandy beige one from Huda Beauty it just wasn't didn't jive with my skin tone very well so for me that one's a pass unfortunately Another hair product, this is the Living Proof Curl Enhancer, and this is actually a conditioning like curl enhancer, but for fine hair, which is what I have. It's actually what I ended up using in my hair today and that gave me this kind of natural, like beachy, wavy kind of look to my hair, which I do appreciate because normally my hair is like pretty damn straight. Um, this smells, by the way, amazing. Oh my god, you guys, it smells so freaking good. Um, super lightweight, didn't weigh my hair, hair down at all. And actually, I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, I didn't expect to have super curly hair, but even if I could have like waves to my hair, which I feel like my hair has it, I just want to accentuate it because I feel like it's there. <laughs> um, I'm happy. So this, this, this has been really good. First application was great and definitely so far recommending. Okay, two more hair products that are total repurchases, and I'm actually going to place an order for a second one of these, but this is the Amica, the Cure Bond Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. This is amazing, amazing, amazing. I absolutely love this. My husband is obsessed with these. Oh my god, he literally requests that we buy more, um, but they're basically shampoo and conditioner that actually helps repair your hair um, and repair the strands and bonds of your hair, so look into it if you guys are interested in that, but it's really, really great if you have damaged hair, and the price isn't too bad, so I appreciate that a lot. Um, packaging super cute. Love the color. 
for another fragrance. This one I was super sad because they're discontinuing this brand from like Sephora, Canada, US. Um, but this is the Atelier Cologne Pacific Lime. And I actually already have this. So this is a direct repurchase, which doesn't happen for me often. I would have bought the full bottle, but they didn't have any more. Um, if you're in a store and you see these, definitely give them a smell. Pacific Lime is beautiful though. I have to say I really enjoy this. It smells very much, kind of, it reminds me a little bit of the Skylar one. But it just smells super um, citrusy, but with like a little bit of coconut in there. So it's like that perfect summer fragrance. And it is also sweet. So I, it has like a little bit of sweetness, citrusiness, freshness, um, but then a little bit of co coconut in there as well. So I really love this in the summertime, like just spraying it on the skin directly and like laying by the pool. This is, this is it for me. Absolutely delicious fragrance. All right, we are down to the last products. Um, from Ever Eden, I have the Golden Belly Serum. This is a multi-benefit treatment oil. Um, it has marula oil, centella asiatica, and rosehip oil. It has non-toxic, no non-toxic, plant-based, dermatologist tested. I am currently pregnant, so this has been one of the things that I've been using to kind of hydrate the belly and keep myself super moisturized to help with from getting stretch marks or anything. And honestly, this is a beautiful oil. If you're looking for a body oil in general, this smells so nice and feels so, so nice and luxurious. Also, it absorbs into the skin pretty well. It actually doesn't feel like tacky or gross for a long period of time. Even when applying it initially, it feels more so velvety. So really recommend this oil specifically. I've been, like I said, loving it. Um, specifically, the oil has been like my like ride or die. And then for a body product, this is a nourishing stretch mark cream from Ever Eden as well. And it has the hoba oil, mango butter, and centella. This has also been really great. It actually is a very fast absorbing cream, um, which I do appreciate because I'll do the cream first and then I'll do the oil. And you would think I would be like sticky or something, but it kind of like sinks in pretty well. And about after five minutes, I am totally good. Don't even feel it on my skin anymore, but I feel super hydrated. And I definitely feel like this combo has helped a lot with like just keeping my skin hydrated and I'm not like itchy. I don't feel stretched or tight, um, which is amazing. And really really enjoy this if you guys are pregnant right now and want to invest in yourself a little bit definitely check those out um last i just have some like samples and things like that so i have the way fine hair shampoo and conditioner next i have the orbe hair alchemy um the whole set that they kind of give you with this so a bunch of hair products there i also have the verb volume shampoo and conditioner this was another one i was just curious about Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Conditioning Mask. I have tried this before. It is quite nice. I do enjoy this. I also have the Clarence Total Eye Lift. Um, Lift Replenishing Eye Concentrate. Um, for like little minis, I have the Fresh Floral Recovery Calming Mask. Even Skin Tone and Texture. I've heard really amazing things about this. Like incredible things about this. So I'm really excited to try this out. And I also have the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder. Um, which I also have heard... <laughs> phenomenal things about um the pharmacy 10 percent niacinamide uh night mask smooths plus refines pores vitamin b okay i didn't even know this was in here but very excited to try this um this one is very new to me it's the shawnee durden skincare it's an intensive eye renewal cream i'm so into eye stuff so excited for that i also have the um what is this? Sunday Riley CEO 15% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. Another one that um, has really great reviews. The Summer Fridays Lift Aura Vitamin C Plus Peptide Eye Cream. This is new, so I actually am really pumped that I managed to get a sample of this. And that is everything. Oh my god, I'm so happy to finally get through that with you guys. Um, the two products, like I mentioned, that I did order, those were two more lip liners for Makeup by Mario because they came out with a bunch of new shades. So I'm really excited to get those in and feature those for you guys in a shorts video. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this massive haul and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.